the secret plan to rescue Lucky by Jason and Anna could not remain hidden for long. Sidwell, with his sharp wit and cunning nature, uncovered the plot. Instead of reacting directly, he devised a cruel scheme, turning the situation to his advantage in a deadly game. Sidwell proposed a deal to Jason, a poker game with incredibly high stakes. Sidwell coldly set the condition. If Jason won, he would allow Jason, Anna, and Lucky to leave his territory safely. But if Jason lost, all three would face immediate death. With no other option, Jason was forced into the game. Every second that passed increased the tension, as everyone understood that their fate lay in Jason's hands and this fateful poker game. Sidwell, a seasoned player in deceptive games, remained confident that he would emerge victorious. Jason knew he wasn't just playing against Sidwell, but also battling the tricks and distractions Sidwell would use to control the game. The poker game unfolded in an atmosphere thick with tension, with each card revealed bringing them closer to life or death. Anna, sitting behind Jason, worried but could do nothing except place her trust in him. Lucky, weakened after days of captivity, also realized that his life now depended on Jason's calmness and sharp decision-making. Throughout the game, Sidwell applied constant psychological pressure, taunting and provoking Jason, trying to throw him off balance. He smirked each time his cards gained the upper hand, making Jason's position seem more precarious. But Jason, an experienced poker player, knew this wasn't just a game of luck, but one of psychology and careful calculation. He remained composed, countering Sidwell's moves one by one. Finally, at the climax of the game, Jason made a bold move, betting everything on a final hand. Everything hinged on the last card he was about to reveal. Sidwell laughed loudly, convinced that victory was his. But in the decisive moment, Jason turned over a stronger card, clinching a stunning victory. Sidwell was stunned, unable to believe his eyes when he saw Jason's winning hand. But he had no choice but to honor his promise. Despite his fury, he signaled his guards to let Jason, Anna, and Lucky go. However, Sidwell silently vowed revenge, determined not to let this defeat go unpunished. Jason, Anna, and Lucky escaped from Sidwell's stronghold, but they knew this was only a temporary respite. With his dark nature, Sidwell would certainly return, not one to give up easily. As they made their way back to Port Charles, they realized that Sidwell's threat extended far beyond a simple poker game the real battle had only just begun. After Jason's decisive poker victory, everything seemed to be over and they prepared to leave safely. Jason, Anna, and Lucky quickly got into the vehicle they had used to reach Sidwell's base, hoping to return to Port Charles and escape danger. However, Holly, who had been held captive by Sidwell and endured tremendous pressure, had already discovered Sidwell's sinister plan. During her captivity, Holly uncovered that Sidwell had secretly planted a bomb on the vehicle used by Jason and Anna, intending to kill them all after they left. This was Sidwell's final play to ensure they would never escape his grasp. Despite being tightly controlled by Sidwell, Holly was determined to find a way to free herself from his control. She knew that if the bomb detonated, not only would Jason, Anna, and Lucky perish, but her own chance to escape would vanish as well. In a quiet, tense moment, Holly found a way to secretly alert Lucky about Sidwell's bombing plan. Through a subtle but clever signal, Holly managed to send a message to Lucky without Sidwell noticing. As the group prepared to leave, Lucky quickly picked up on Holly's warning and alerted Jason and Anna. Jason immediately stopped the vehicle before it could move any further. They quickly inspected the car and discovered the bomb carefully hidden within the vehicle's system set to activate once the car traveled far enough from Sidwell's base. Thanks to their timely vigilance, the bombing plot was foiled, and all three, Jason, Anna, and Lucky, escaped death. Once the failed plan was exposed, Sidwell was caught off guard by the failure of his deadly scheme. Meanwhile, Holly took advantage of the chaos following the discovery to seize her chance to escape. Using the distraction caused by the bomb, Holly slipped away from Sidwell's control, disappearing into the night without leaving a trace. This was the opportunity she had long awaited to break free from Sidwell's grasp. Jason, Anna, and Lucky made it back to Port Charles safely, where they could continue their fight against Sidwell. Meanwhile, Holly, now free from Sidwell's control, began to plan her own complete escape from her dark past. 
Lucky had been held captive by Sidwell for a long time, and his health had deteriorated significantly. The harsh conditions, lack of food and water, combined with both physical and mental torture, had taken a heavy toll on Lucky. He was no longer the strong, confident man he once was. Each step he took was heavy, his body weakened, and the unhealed wounds caused him constant pain. His previous escape attempts, which had all failed, only further drained his spirit, and many times he felt as though he would never survive. Lucky's once bright eyes, full of confidence and determination, were now dull and weary. When Jason and Anna finally rescued him, they could barely recognize their old friend. Lucky needed Jason's support just to walk, and at times had to stop to catch his breath. Despite his physical exhaustion, Lucky's will to survive remained strong. He refused to let his conditions slow down their escape, even though every step was a challenge. Thank you.